Hey guys! We're gonna use ratios again today. So more um, arithmetic y than really algebra y, but a little both. You know, so, anyway, okay. Um, we're gonna compare stuff. All right, let's go to a supremely practical example here. 20 pounds of Chick fil A french fries sold for $1.20. What's the price per pound? And all you're gonna do is just divide, right? I mean, you can look at this as cents if you want to. I mean, looking at this thing as dollars is a little bit ugh because you're looking at points and this is a whole an, an integer you don't want to mess with that so if you want to do you can you can go ahead and go 120 cents and then that's going to be 20 pounds you can kind of reduce that if you want to right 120 just chop off those 12 over 2 is 6 so 6 cents for let's say 1 pound that's the price per pound of course don't forget you can use ratios you can flip it, right, based on the problem you're going to do. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, the big, big can held 16 worms and cost 80 cents. The small can held 12 worms and cost 72 cents, which was the better buy. Well, let's take a look. We got 16 worms. I didn't put worms, just put worms for 80 cents, okay? Which, you know, they, they make these so where they divide evenly 99.999% of the time, um, which is almost half. So, okay, well, let's look at this. 16 does go into 80. Now, what I would do if I were you, if you didn't recognize 16 goes into 80, just reduce the fraction. You might go, okay, let's at least do it by two. That's eight and then uh, 40. You ought to recognize at this point that eight into 40 is one. So one worm, and that's gonna be five cents. Okay, so in other words, it's, it's a nickel a worm. The small can had 12 worms and 72 cents. Well, you know, 12 worms, and then 72 cents, and you ought to recognize 12 goes into 72 six times. So that's one worm for six cents. Obviously the can with the bigger um, the number of worms is the better buy. It's a nickel worm instead of six cents a worm. Okay, isn't always the case. Usually you go to a grocery store and like you get a, if you get like a, you know, homeschool size family jar of peanut butter, it looks like this, you know, organic, gluten-free, peanut-free, jar-free, uh, nut-free, Taste free, everything free. Okay, and it's gigantic. It usually, is a big better buy, you know, but not always. Sometimes they try to fool you. So a lot of times you'll see in a grocery store underneath there, it'll say it'll say X number of cents per ounce or something like that. So anyway, okay, um, that's basically it. That's all you need to do. Just compare. So let's try the practice problem on page two twelve. So there it is. Pause it. Okay, well let's look. A store sold packages of a dozen for $1.44 a package. So in other words, it's, let's do cents. It's 144 cents for 12. 12, I don't know, let's say packages. So of course we can just do the division. That'll be 12 cents. 144 divided by 12 is 12. 12 cents per one package. There you go. The other one sold packages of three dozen for 468. Which price was better? Well, let's see. So that's going to be 468 cents for three dozen. Three times 12 is 36. 36 packages. And if you do the long division, let's just do it. 36 into 46 is 1. 36, 10, and then 8. And I mean, you might not know this off the top of your head, but you need to try. I mean, just know that they do these and they fix them so they usually go in evenly you would have found that 36 goes into 108 three times. So in other words, this thing is 13 cents per package. And if you weren't paying attention, you might, oh, I'm gonna buy the bigger one, it's a better buy, but it wasn't in this case, so anyway. Okay, all right, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, thanks.